Nice uh, three 0 win. Most welcome at the end of a brilliant week, I guess. Yeah, it made <clears throat> excuse me made the two long trips, you know, really worthwhile. <clears throat> we got another one to come on Tuesday, but I said to them after the game at uh, Scarborough, it was a great point if we go in back it up with a win at home on Saturday, and thankfully we've done that. Uh, are you happy with the 90 minutes of the performance, or were the elements of a game or two hard? Yeah? I'm never happy with all 90 minutes, <laughs> my, but at the end of the day, I, I just felt. You know, we've had a we've had a tough week and we've got another one coming up and, and it's the end of the first one. Um, and I just felt we were a little bit <clears throat> not quite at the, the levels that we've been in the last two games. But that said, at times we did it at that level. When we do that, I think teams are finding it difficult to stop us. Um, so yeah, without being disrespectful to the Kidmans, they didn't really lay too much of a glove on us in terms of an attacking threat. But because therefore we must have had a lot more of the ball than them. I was getting a little frustrated at times, but that's because I'm not hands-on today with us, and that's what that was. There was a bit of a red and white wall across the back there um, for quite a, a substantial part of the first half, mm -hmm. but then there needs to be a break of that. Josh did it right in time, didn't he? Absolutely. I mean, if we can't get through them, we'll go around them. If we can't get around them, we'll go over them. So from that point of view, you know, they can do what they want. I don't, I, we, we're, face, we're facing it a lot at home, obviously. People are coming here a little fearful, I would guess, in, in terms of they don't they don't want to lose the game in the first you know throws of the game. So I completely understand it. And, and in fairness to them, they did it well. They, you know, they blocked us out. So from that point of view, they got their, their plan was right at the start. We thought it would be that way. Um, but I, I'm a big um, you know champion of, of patience, would you believe? And um, I was I was just urging us to be patient, make the extra pass, but don't give up the opportunity to to go forward when, when we could. And I think what was happening was because they were so deep at times, the opposition, we were walking on and being marked rather than coming into an area where we usually come and, and pass rather than, when I say pass, I mean go past. Um, so yeah, it was, I mean, we were really calm at half time. In fact, we scored probably helped that a little bit just before. We've done that a few times and I keep saying it's like, it's a massive body blow to any team when you score right at the death to make it one or to make it, you know, to go in the lead um, because it changes everything for them at half time. And of course, as the game goes on, we understand that they have to come out and try and score because otherwise they're going to go home beaten. And they did have a go, they did have a go. Um, but that obviously makes them a little bit weaker in defence if they've come out to attack. So, yeah, really, really pleased. It's a, it's a, it's a really good win against, against a big club. Theo, nice little bit of work there, but mm. that he had a sort of the, yeah. the, the change of fortune very, very quickly. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, we don't know yet. Obviously, we've got to let them <clears throat> settle down. But he doesn't think he's actually torn it or pulled it. He just felt a tightening in there. But the way he went down didn't look good. Um, we just have to assess him. We'll miss him if, if he's out because he's. I know he's my lad and it's nothing at all to do with that. He's been very, very consistent this season. I think he's got six or seven goals as well. So from that point of view, as well as being a, <coughs> a, a catalyst for the way we actually play the game in terms of he's the, the, the holding guy and the dictator of the ball, if you like, um, he's, had a good, he's had a good spell. I don't tell him that publicly very often. So he, hopefully he'll uh, he'd be like me and he'll heal quick. He didn't uh, actually say after the Doncaster game when he was very, very good. Yeah, no, he, no yeah. Let it ride. Like, yeah, no, I always do. I, I, I may tell him privately, but I don't, <clears throat> at the end of the day, I think you know players at this level know when they've done well. Um, you know, he, he doesn't get any special praise from me at all. He's, he's here because of because of the merit, and he's proven to be a, a good asset for the club at the moment. So I don't want him. I don't want him injured for long. Yeah. And then Gold pulls uh, an absolute corker out. Yeah. Uh, for the third, and then he's game over. Isn't yeah, that was a great finish. I mean, mm. that's what I was. My, I was probably getting a little bit impatient in the first half because I didn't see the energy to press like we normally do. Mm. And I know why that happens, but Goldie almost did it on his own there. He won the ball, ran, ran away from them, and then it was a great finish. Mm. So I was pleased for him because strikers always judge themselves every week on goals. I don't. I look at the whole contribution to the to the game. Like Ben Stevens has gone on there, and I know he's chuntering in there because he hasn't scored, but I thought he was excellent when he came on. You know, Josh is Josh. Is Josh. He's, he's outstandingly talented, and he can bring certain things to the football pitch that nobody else at this club can do. And some days it works and some days it doesn't work. So we've got a really good blend. We've got Zane Walker coming on there who's chomping at the bit to get more game time. But the other lads who've been in ahead of him for one reason or another are just doing too well. So 
it's a good it's a good problem to have from my point of view, but it's a, it's not an easy thing to have to manage sometimes. And three goals in three games, one each in each game for goal. I think it's a bit special, isn't it? Well, it's brilliant. I mean, Ponch had to, Ponch had went on a run of about four and four, I think. So yeah. let's hope that continues. As long as somebody's scoring, I don't care. But I mean, <clears throat> I just mentioned Theo. I think's got six or seven. I think Skip's got four or five. Josh Coulson must have that now as well. So we're, we're chipping in from everywhere, and, and that's important, you know, because you can't rely too heavily on one man. I'm sure throughout your career you've seen clubs who've had a good result in the cup mm -hmm. and it's affected them. It probably does with non-league teams more, but you, you must be pleased that it doesn't look to have had any it won't. difference. It won't, because we won't let it happen. We, <clears throat> we, treat, we treat winning, losing and drawing exactly the same. We literally do put it behind us as quickly as we can and we just look at the next game. That's honestly what we do. And I know it's a cliche, it doesn't make for really good headlines or anything but it's this is gone we'll be talking about Southport on the way home in the car <clears throat> um, and we'll be back here Monday morning to, to prepare for the another monster trip for those of us who sat in the press box it didn't go without notice that you were about two yards to our right <laughs> mm -hmm. carrying the world's loudest whistle um, no, that's my fingers are you, are you, <laughs> it is it is well I noticed but, um, <clears throat> is that just the, the, uh, the one game suspension yeah I mean I, I have no idea why I'm being <laughs> honest with you I just was told that I've, we've accrued four yellow cards on the bench well, I can't remember them but that's apparently what's happened and because my name is above the door it's me that has to sit out mm. um, I do know at least on two of the occasions it wasn't me who even got yellow carded so from that point of view it's a little bit harsh I feel but you've got to do what they tell you um, I'm still allowed to speak to the lads before and during the game in the dressing room but I was just not allowed to be in the technical area but that's done and dusted that's good omen because last year we I had four games and we didn't win one of them so the lads will probably want me to sit upstairs more and <laughs> give their ears a rest. How much more difficult is it conducting operations like that? It's hard, but yeah. I trust I trust Mark and Hugo implicitly. I mean, they, they, I keep saying this, there's 20 odd legs and arms running around, but there's only one brain that, that's in charge of it all. So from that point of view, they are just me, and I expect them to get the re respect from the players that the players give me, because they speak for me and the same as me. Sitting just in front of you is Jordan. Um, has he got a bit of a groin problem, is it? Yeah, we're going to have to investigate a little bit. I mean, it's, it's, we're not sure what it is. Um, so we're going to get him looked at just, just for, you know, peace of mind for him more than anything else. Um, but I don't think he's miles away. Touch wood. So probably not Tuesday, but... Maybe he's a, that may be a bit early, but possibly. It depends how he gets over the weekend. We've got, we've had him in and had a look at him today and, and treated him, so... He's a lot less painful today than he was the day before yesterday, which is good. So from that point of view, it's subsiding in a pain sort of measurement. But uh, obviously, if there's something wrong with it, it'll need either more rest or fixing. So we'll have to have a look. But I can't tell you what exactly what it is. I'm not a medical man. Uh, that's um, eight and beaten at home in the league, and I think 11 in league and cup at home. Do you feel you, you, your turn is starting to turn this place into a fortress again? I think everybody wants to, you know, you build, you build from the results at home, obviously. I mean, and it puts less pressure on you when you go away from home. I mean, probably everybody who's in football will work on the premise. If you can get four points every two games, you're going to be there or thereabouts. So the fact you've just said that, obviously the league points accrued at home is very, very good. Um, but we haven't done too bad away from home either. So from that point of view, it's the answer to your question is yes, we want to make it a fortress. Um, because it obviously wasn't before I came here, was it? Not not in this, the, that first 20 games or whatever it was that had been played, but a year on, it's a very different place to come. I don't think many people want to come. And the character you keep showing as a as a as a, as a group is mm -hmm. is immense, isn't it? Yeah, I mean like, that was typified at uh, Scarborough the other night. I mean it was awful conditions in terms of the weather. It was blowing a hoolie down right down the middle of the pitch. Um, and we were under the cosh, you know, they, they, played, they played the conditions better than we did in the first 20 minutes and we found ourselves 2-0 down. And after the Lord Mayor Shaw springs to mind, doesn't it? Because that happens as well, you talk about before a big game, they might have a little dip because they've got an eye on a game. But sometimes after you've had a really good performance and you've read about yourselves and how good you are for three days and then you go and go 2-0 down. We could easily have folded, but I, I don't see that in that dressing room. I see, I see strong lads, strong mentally, strong physically. Um, and a togetherness that you need, and they absolutely should, because when we went 3-1 down with only, well, there's only what, seven minutes left when we scored the second goal, yeah, they showed some 
metal. No moving goalposts either today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, don't, uh, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to even comment on that. That, that. that just should not happen, should it? Whether whether the ball was over the lane or not, the the goal wasn't in where it's the goal wasn't where it was supposed to be. So I don't know how that doesn't get stopped.